Hello, my name is Mikhail, and I've been working over the past year with Alex, Eric, Weston, and Paul on the classification of left atrial appendage morphology using deep learning. So atrial fibrillation is a really common cardiac arrhythmia, particularly in the United States. And it's an arrhythmia where the top two chambers of the heart or the atria uh, do not conduct electrical impulses uh, normally or regularly. So on the left hand side, you're seeing a human heart that is beating without an arrhythmia. And on the right hand side, we have a swine heart that is beating with, uh, it has atrial fibrillation. And you can see how these top two chambers of the heart are sporadically conducting and also uh, sporadically contracting. The left atrial appendage is this extension of the left atrium and really doesn't do much in quote unquote normal humans, but when a patient has a cardiac arrhythmia, particularly atrial fibrillation, the left atrial appendage can be problematic. And this is because um, blood clots can form in this left atrial appendage when the atria are not conducting normally, and that can lead to a heart attack or even stroke. And so what physicians will do is um, identify what type of left atrial appendage a patient has, whether it's a windsock, chicken wing, cactus, or cauliflower, and then decide which device to close the left atrial appendage with. And so there's a lot of different devices, more than are just shown here on the right-hand side, um, that will close the left atrial appendage, but determining which device will be used is often based upon this windsock, chicken wing, cactus, cauliflower classification. So we determined or developed a neural network that would more rapidly determine what type of left atrial appendage a patient has. And so the thought is that if this were implemented in the clinic, a physician wouldn't have to take the time to review the patient imaging and determine what type of um left atrial appendage a patient has, but instead um, the program could do all of that and potentially even output what device should be used to close the left atrial appendage. So we started with MRIs from fixed human hearts that were available to us from the visible heart lab, and we segmented out the left atrial appendage, which is what you're seeing in the images in the top left. In the top right um, is what we imported into our uh, neural network. So these are three-dimensional renderings of uh, the left atrial appendages, and they are tagged with their like corresponding uh, morphology, whether that's cauliflower, chicken wing, or windsock. Oh, we didn't have any cactuses available, so those were left out of this data set. Uh, with regards to our neural network, it is a ResNet 34 architecture, um, and it trained for um, probably less than 10 minutes, so it was pretty simple to set up. Our network error rate uh, came out to be 8.7%, which means that over 90% of the time, the neural network was able to identify what type of left atrial appendage the, was seen in the image. So that was really exciting to us because um, that meant with just maybe some more data, we would be able to um, potentially bring this into the clinic. What you're seeing on the right-hand side is a confusion matrix, which shows that the cauliflower left atrial appendage was the most confused. Um, so definitely more data that includes cauliflower left atrial appendages will need to be included uh, to decrease that confusion rate. Again, the hope here is that we can um, classify the left atrial appendages so that the physician doesn't need to, which would um, speed up things in the clinic and hopefully lead to faster and better patient care. Thank you.